So I wanted to start a new segment here on my channel, folks, about news in Vietnam. So just very quick videos, a couple of minutes long, not, no, not my normal 10, 12, 15 minute videos that I typically do if you're used to watching videos on my channel. I wanted to bring you news topics as they break here in Vietnam. So things like visas, economy, real estate, anything like that, finance. Uh, and as I see them released in the news, I'll bring them to you and I'll give you some local opinion as well. So for my first story, folks, quite a controversial one. And you may have heard of Hoi An, ancient town. So Hoi An is a, a town quite near Da Nang, about 20 or so kilometers south. Very, very popular with tourists, very, very busy. Quite a beautiful old town, lots of nice architecture, plenty of nice restaurants, shops, bars, things like that. So today they announced that they're gonna be charging uh, just over $5, 120,000 VND, which is just, uh, just about $5 today to get into Hoi An for foreigners. And for Vietnamese, they'll be charging 80,000. So double pricing again here in Vietnam. I talked about this in Nam Cat Teen, where I went there fairly recently with family and I was really disappointed that even though I'm a resident in Vietnam, I've been here like over eight years. I have a, a resident card, I pay taxes every month. Uh, I was still charged foreigner tourist price. So I'm presuming that's gonna be the same Every time I go to Hoi An, I quite often like to go to Hoi An because it's, it's very nice, you know, it's go there every couple of weeks. But if I got to pay 120,000 every time, even though I'm a resident in Vietnam, it kind of sucks, right? And that's issue number one. I mean, the double pricing thing I really, really hate as well. I mean, again, guys, leave me your comments. Some people think it's okay for foreigners to pay more because they earn more. Of course, that's not always the case. And I think that's very narrow-minded and I don't think that's, that should be the case at all. I know Thailand do this, you know, a bit more than Vietnam, but it's kind of disappointing to see Vietnam starting to introduce double pricing and also transparency. So unfortunately here in Vietnam, when it comes to money, things like that, there's no transparent accounts here. For example, I, I wouldn't be able to see, I wouldn't be able to request to see like where, you know, can I see a company's accounts? Is it, you know, is it fair? No, it's everything secretive. So this 120, thousand tongs that people are gonna to have to do that people are gonna to have to pay and there's like thousands of people every day going into this site where does that money go well the news articles kind of vague it just says for conservation but you tell me guys where will the money go uh, I have an idea where some of it might go but there we go I'll let you guess anyway just a quick news update from me here in Vietnam folks think about subscribing if you haven't already plenty of stuff to come from me here in Da Nang Vietnam. Have an awesome day folks wherever you are in the world. Catch you later.